Today, we start beating games as fast as possible. Hey guys, what's up? It's Bravity. Welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today, we're going to be switching things up. I'm going to be playing Super Mario Sunshine on the GameCube slash Wii. So, for those of you who don't know, I used to speedrun Super Mario Sunshine about two years ago. I wasn't fantastic, not like world record pace or anything, but I did play a lot and I got pretty good at it. So, I'm trying to get back into that. So, on the YouTube channel, we're going to be doing a maybe four to five part series of a casual playthrough of the any percent speedrun route. So, I'm still going to be doing all the speedrun skips and glitches but I'm not going to be trying to make it a speed run. I'm not going to try to do it super fast, but I'm still going to do the route to get you guys used to it and used to the game and get me back into the game as well. So without further ado, guys, welcome to part one of the Super Mario Sunshine casual speed run playthrough. Let's jump into the game and get started. All right, guys, here we are in the game. We've got a 120 star completed A slot, we've got a 45 star completed any percent speed run slot. You get 45 stars when you're doing an any percent speed run. And we've got a brand new B slot just for this video. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with it. There's a lot of cutscenes that start out this game. So for those of you who don't know what Mario Sunshine is, it is Mario going on vacation to this island. Shadow Mario then pollutes the island and makes all the shine sprites leave. Mario gets blamed for it because he looks like Shadow Mario. And then Mario has to go around cleaning up the island and getting all the shine sprites back. So we've just landed and there's a bunch of goop on the airstrip where we landed. There's Shadow Mario. We see him for the first time right here just for a split second. But here in a minute, we're going to get introduced to Flood, Mario's companion, throughout the entirety of the game. Alright guys, here we go. We're about to gain control of Mario for the first time in the game. So we're going to go ahead and go over here. And we're going to get to see Flood for the first time. So here's Flood. This is how we uh, maneuver around in the game. Power up complete. Thank you for purchasing this item from Gab Science Incorporated. Preparing to register customer information, scanning and classifying subject data. So guys, while we're waiting for the uh, tutorial that I don't need, I hope you noticed I'm repping the Bravity M merch. Not available, I just made it for myself. It's literally just my name on the shirt. So, that's it. <laughs> oh, this takes forever, dude. This isn't even the longest cutscene. The longest cutscene's coming up. Alright, see if I can get textless. Here we go. Smash A. Oh, sometimes you can get the text not to pop up right there. Alright, here we go. We're gonna fight our first little mini boss. See, I'm not trying to do this fast, but it's ending up becoming just like a speed run. Like, I'm playing it just like that. I just need to calm down, and just be casual about it. So, we gotta spray this guy in the mouse three times. So, I'm gonna do these things called spam sprays. Just kinda right when he opens his mouth, spray him. And then we're going to switch to our hover nozzle, jump over him, and hover right over the top right here. Land perfectly on where the star is going to spawn. That's a big part of speedrunning. You need to know where your star is going to spawn. So you can be right there on top of it, just like that. So here's our first shine spray. I'm going to be calling them stars throughout the uh, entirety of the speedrun, but it, they're called shine sprites. So there's our first one, guys, and now it's time for the longest cutscene in the goddamn world. It's ridiculous. It's like two, three minute cut long cutscene where you literally just watch, watch the story unfold of Mario getting accused of polluting this island. So let's sit through that. Court is now in session. As you are no doubt aware, someone has been senselessly defacing Fair Isle Delfino using some paint-like substance. The accused is charged with polluting our beautiful home, and yes, endangering our very way of You see the island shaped like a dolphin? Indeed. That's kind of a fun fact. Delfino is dolphin in some language I can't remember. And then the island is shaped like a dolphin. And there's Shadow Mario, but since it's just a sketch, it looks just like Mario. So he gets the blame, and we have to clean up this guy's bullshit mess. Now Mario's in his jail cell, and Flood's gonna talk to him for like a fucking hour. Here we go. Getting ready to get control back. That's the last cutscene that's gonna take him an hour. See if I need it. Textless. Nope, no textless once again. I suck at speedrunning, guys. So we're gonna fight another one of those little uh, piranha plant lava monster things 
here real quick, and then we will move into our very first level. Here we go, we're gonna do a nice little water slide over here by the beach, then we're gonna flip out, do another water slide straight into our goop and get him out. There we go. Same exact fighting style for this guy. Every single one you fight it the same. When they open their mouth, you spray them with water with a little spam spray like that. Opens his mouth again, spam spray. Opens his mouth again, spam spray, and then we can do whatever we want. Fly around, jump into the water. Doesn't matter, we get a tiny little cutscene here. Nothing near like what we had before. Statue grows out. Got Shadow Mario perched up on the top. Mario? Mario then steals our beloved Peach. There we go. And then we're gonna go chase him down real quick, but it's very easy, just screwed that up. Still a little rusty. This is very easy here, just gotta spray him down. We're gonna get him real quick. Simple stuff. Usually that chase goes on very long for somebody who's not a speedrunner, but very easy when you are. Oh God. Just call myself a speedrunner and then I do that. Let's go Mario. Take me to the first level here. Hey, I got that. Cool. That was a little skip right there. I'll explain. I'll explain some point in the future probably why that was a little a little glitch right there. So here we are guys, our first level. It's going to show us a little cut scene of Mario standing by some more goop. I'm supposed to be fighting another one of those little piranha plant lava monsters, but I'm going to go ahead and avoid that because we don't actually have to fight that in the speed run. We go ahead and just skip this level altogether. I'm gonna fly through the air just like this, dive, there we go, do a couple dives here, maybe do a nice little water slide. Find this little spider guy, this is all RNG, this is random, but that was some very good RNG right there. We're gonna dive on him. <gasps> what? That was not supposed to happen. There we go. Fly through the air. I'm not gonna make it all the way up, dang it. That's no problem. Just gonna wall kick up there from here. And we are gonna catch that. There we go. There's a way to wall kick all the way up the windmill, but it's pretty hard to do, so I'm just gonna just gonna stick with this for now. Ride it all the way up. This is pretty damn slow. Speed it up by just jumping like that. Jump on top, and now we're gonna fight Petey the Piranha for the first time in the game. Fat motherfucker's gonna fall through the ceiling. Here we go. <laughs> All right. We're going to see if we can uh, beat this pretty quickly. Going to get behind him here so he doesn't... Oh, Usually I can fill him up in one of those quick little spam sprays, but I could not get it. Oh, dodge his head, get behind his arm again. Wow, what is going on? This isn't how it's supposed to go, guys. Uh, excuse me? Usually that works in just one of those. So we're gonna ground pound on his belly right here. Here, I'll try to do it in one again, or I'll try to do it quicker this time. Are you kidding me? Come on. Okay, this is upsetting me. There we go. Screw that guy in his goop. Alright, one more time, guys. Let's try to do this. Ugh. That is so annoying, dude. There we go. At least we got it in two. And I do not remember where the star is... 
here, I believe, is a good guess. So I'm gonna do that. Like I said, it's all about remembering where the star is. Did I get it? Oh, so close. Did I get it? Oh, I didn't get it, guys. Damn it. Uh, all right. Yeah, we are definitely rusty, ladies and gentlemen, but I was close to getting the star there. So that is the second Shining Sprite and the first level of the first stage completed. So let's move on to stage number two, or level number two in stage number one. This is going to get very confusing, so I'm just going to call it by its name, Bianco Hills. Second level of Bianco Hills. So this is known as a secret. Anytime there's the word secret in one of the levels, it is a secret level where you have to go into a special world where you lose Flood, which is the little uh, water guy on your back, and you have to complete a level without him. Very difficult. Um, I never got super good at them, but if you're a real speedrunner, <laughs> you're supposed to be very good at them. So we're gonna accidentally hit that. Yep, knew it. Did not mean to do that. Let's go, come on. This isn't looking very much like a speed run. Alright, go ahead and wall kick off of this, jump up there, here we go, fly up here, and get into the cave. Alright, so this little cutscene is going to show us losing flood here. So, here we go. There's some nice movement for this, but uh, I don't know it. I haven't practiced the movement for this at all. So I pretty much just play the secret levels, or most of the secret levels as a casual player would. Except for this part, I do this part a little bit quicker. Oh, unless I miss my cycle. Like, just go ahead and do some jump dives through there. Star grab. All right, so that was pretty easy, not too difficult, but the secrets, that's pretty much what they are. You lose flood and you gotta do these weird little, weird little obstacle courses. But on to Bianco Hills stage or level three. Actually, no, no, I forgot. God, I do not remember this game at all. Now that we have this level open, we're going to go unlock the level, fight another one of those piranha plants real quick. There's a lot of these at the beginning of the game, and then we never see one again. There we go. We're going to go ahead and spray him in his mouth real quick. Just like that. Clear out some space for us. Do it again. Clear out some more space for us. Frame again, and then we're actually going to come back here, and this is the first one we're going to notice that he comes out twice. So we're going to spray him again, and I'll show you why we're doing this from a distance here in a second. There's two, and on the third one he's going to die, and we're going to attempt to quickly run backwards and jump back into the stage. This is very hard to do. Oh! If we can get back in the stage before this cutscene, we can completely skip the cutscene and go just directly into the level. It's quite a bit of a time save, but I just missed it barely there. That sucks. I'm also missing all my water slides here, so this is a sad, sad run. But like I said, this is supposed to be casual, so I need to take it easy on myself. This is supposed to be casual. I'm supposed to be having fun. Red coins, the first red coin level. You should be familiar with these if you've played any Mario game ever. You pretty much just hunt for the red coins, but we don't gotta hunt. We know exactly where they are, because we're cool speedrunner guys. Oh, oh my gosh, you idiot. I got some momentum and it threw me off. Alright, we're just casual. We're casual playing it. We're casual playing it. So if I didn't screw that up, I would have grabbed that and then ran through here, done some cool little jump dives. Grab that one, popped up here with a side flip, grab the ledge, pop on over here, do a nice little jump dive, grab that coin and not fall off the edge, jeez. I'm really struggling, guys. I am really struggling. Oh. Okay. There we go, god damn. All right, I'm gonna jump off here, we're gonna grab this coin here. Oh, just casual, just casual, don't take it out on yourself. This is really frustrating for me, guys. I'm going to try to make it nice and entertaining and light, but oh, this is frustrating when I know that I can do this better. 
Now we're gonna ride on up this here. And shine grab. All right. That was a little rough, guys. A lot of these are gonna be rough, but we're gonna get through it. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. I hope this isn't super boring. This gameplay is rather exciting if you are good at it. And I'm not, <laughs> apparently. Into stage four. Stage four? Yes, stage four. PD Piranha Strikes Back. This level is goddamn horseshit. I've never been good at this one. Even when I was back speed running, I was never good at this. I pretty much play this one as a casual player. It is horribly hard, for me at least. Not for a speedrunner. Do the same movement we've done here recently. Not fall off this time, that was nice, cool. <sighs> Take a nice and easy run in through here. Nice spin jump up to there. Come here, nice, uh, supposed to be spin jump there, but I missed it, so I'm gonna do a side flip. Clear out some of this garbage here. Now we gotta switch to our other nozzle, pick up one of these little pink guys, and uh, wake this motherfucker up with these little pink dudes. Should happen rather soon. There we go. Cool. And now it is time to fight Petey Piranha again. We're gonna fight him in the same way by filling him up with water and ground pounding on him, but we've gotta do it while he's moving down here. So we're gonna clear out some space here, and hopefully he, uh, Behaves. There we go. Spray him out of the air. There we go. Get behind his arm. Hopefully he doesn't throw a tornado. Yep, he's gonna throw a tornado, but we'll be fine. Come here. Speed fill! Speed fill! You are joking me, bro. Speed fill! There we go. Alright. Now, I don't want him to go in this direction, so I'm going to stand over here and try to force him to go in a different direction. So jump on this guy. Nope, I'm going to try to jump on this guy to get some water from him. There we go. And he went in the wrong direction. How about that? All right, here we go. Spray him out of the air. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <sighs> Guys, I'm getting frustrated, but this is fine. It's all fine. It's a casual run. It's a casual run. He's gonna throw another tornado, of course. Get out of my face. And speed fill! But I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna get thrown fucking a mile away. Speed fill! You must be joking. I can't believe you've done this. Not so speedy fill. There we go. Cool. And ground pound on his ass. Now please go in the other direction if I stand over here, please. See, I'm over here, don't come over here. You wanna run away from me. There you go. Now stop. And stippity stippity stop. Whoa, where are you going? He's coming over here. Okay, stop, 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 right here, stop right here. Yep, he's gonna stop right here, guys. Boom, and this is where you die, motherfucker. I want at least one speed fill. Why are you doing it over there? Looks like I'm getting none in this run, guys. Alright, there we go. Cool. And that's the end of Mr. Petey Piranha, ladies and gentlemen. He's dead. Let's see if we can remember where this star is. I don't. No, I'm gonna guess right here, I think. Did I get it? Hey, look at that, guys. I might be an actual speedrunner still. I remembered where the star grab is. Oh, we are well underway, ladies and gentlemen. We are well underway. We've got five shine sprites. That is the end of Bianco part one. We'll be coming back to this stage but we're gonna be moving on to Gelato Beach. So we're fighting another one of those piranha plants, and if I remember correctly, I think this might be the last piranha plant we fight? I think so? I can't remember, it's been so long since I played this game, guys. 
We're gonna jump out and we're gonna pop him out from over here. Beautiful. Now we're gonna fight him just like we did that other one from a distance, just like that. Boom. Now open your mouth again, motherfucker. Boom. Open your mouth again, motherfucker. Boom. You would think they wouldn't open their mouth if it hurts them that bad. We're gonna spray this to kill the little guys he tries to pop out. I missed them all, so we're fine though. Open your mouth again. Dead. Open your mouth again. You're dead. Open your mouth one more time. You're dead. Now I'm gonna try something called the momentum glitch here by water sliding. I might keep some momentum. There you go, you see me fly across the screen there. Got a little bit too much, so I'm gonna slide real far away, but we're cool. Now we're gonna spray this and dive into it. Boom! We are going into Gelato Beach, ladies and gentlemen, the craziest level of them all because it has the largest skip in the entire speed run. We are gonna skip almost the entirety of Gelato Beach, hopefully, if I can remember how to do it. But let's do this, ladies and gentlemen, the largest skip or one of the largest skips in Super Mario Sunshine, the Gelato Beach skip. Water slide over here. We's gonna grab a coconut out of this tree. Give me that coconut. We gotta dodge these motherfucking ducks. They will throw you into eternity. We are going to run down this dock here. The shine sprite we need is under this little gazebo thingy in that little glass case. And we're gonna set the melon down. We're gonna ledge grab like that. We're gonna correct our camera angle. We're gonna fly backwards. We're gonna land behind the melon. We're gonna grab the melon. We're gonna triple jump up there while staying perfectly straight. We're gonna line up on this line. We're gonna drop him and we're gonna glitch through the gazebo. No, we're not. We're gonna come back. We're gonna grab the melon again. We're already still lined up. We're gonna try to triple jump up there again. All right, I guess we get another one. Oh, here we go, here we go glitch in and we grab the shine sprite that was a little rough but that is one of the hardest glitches um, in the game and we did it so um, we did it on our first melon so I'd consider that good um, hopefully I can get that um, back to how it used to be where I can get it first try but that is going to skip a majority of the level so I guess now it's time to explain how the any percent speed run of this works so in each stage in the seventh level I believe you're gonna get to the Shadow Mario level where you have to fight Shadow Mario in the um in the level so here you go here's shadow mario you see we just did this one by glitching through and you see how many we just skipped usually you have to do these in order this is the first one you have to do that one that one that one that one that one that one and then you get to shadow mario but by doing that glitch through the gazebo into the glass pipe we do the last one and then we can just go backwards one to get to shadow mario so we skipped the entirety of the level so now we just need to spray down shadow mario like we did earlier and we will be done with Gelato Beach for the entirety of the run. So let's see if we can do this nice and quickly. Oh, I was too far away. Got him. Boom. That wasn't bad. That was that was all right for me, I guess, for a new speed run. So this is Shine Sprite number seven and... And... The end of part one, guys. So we have just finished a lot of beach skip, guys, and we are going to be moving on to Rico Harbor in the next one. But we finished Bianco one. Well, we finished the beginning. We finished Bianco one, and we finished the hardest skip, or one of the hardest skips, Gelato skip. And now we are going to be moving on to Rico Harbor Penna Park in the next episode. So that's it, guys. That's part one of the Super Mario Sunshine casual speed run playthrough. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay, guys. I am trying to do a bit more than just Fortnite because I don't want to be a Fortnite channel. I just want to be a gaming, just a YouTube channel in general. So we're going to be moving on to some different games such as um, Super Mario Sunshine, maybe some RuneScape here and there if I can find a way to make that actually interesting. But I'm just trying to branch out. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And I'll see you guys in part two if you enjoyed this one. I'll make a part two if you enjoyed it. So see you next time, guys.